there are one or two things you need for a successful wedding. Tact. So, John, how's that, how's that gorgeous girlfriend of yours? Oh, she's no longer my girlfriend. Ah, oh, yeah. Still, I wouldn't get too gloomy about it. Rumour has it she never stopped sleeping with old Bob Delisle just in case you didn't work out. She is now my wife. A discreet best man. When Bernard told me he was getting engaged to Lydia, I, I congratulated him because all his other girlfriends had been such complete dogs. <laughs> Although, may I say how, how, how delighted we are to have so many of them here this evening. <laughs> Delightful guests. Tell me, are you married? No. Are you a lesbian? Um, <laughs> what made you say that? Which is a bit more interesting than saying, oh dear, just never found the right chap, eh? <laughs> Quite right. Why be dull? A competent priest. I do solemnly declare that I... Bernard Delaney to take thee, Lydia Jane Hibbert, to be my awful wedded wife. A loving bride. I do. <laughs> Coming soon, a film with a message. Don't get married. Unless, of course. Any idea who the girl in the black hat is? Name's Carrie. Quite out of your league. Clearly. Always where I'll go too far. You know, in the heat of the moment. Well, how far do you think too far would be then? Maybe this. That might be taking it a little far. And so the feeling grows. What do you think? Divine. It's everywhere I go. Oh, um, look. Yes, it is. In the words of David Cassidy, in fact, while he was still with the Partridge family, uh, I think I love you. Andy McDowell and Hugh Grant invite you to four weddings and a funeral. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit.